With the help of Lessine test, we can find out which extra element is present in given organic compound. To perform Lessine test, we require these things, burner, tripod stand, wire gauze, funnel, filter paper, fusion tube, then uh, we require china bowl, then test tube, test tube stands, distilled water, very important element sodium metal okay and uh, then tongue this uh, dropper and uh, we also required watch glass okay now when organic compound is given to you and you need to find out uh, element extra element present in it we have to prepare less and extract and to prepare it this sodium is very important element we need sodium metal okay so sodium metal here i have taken a small piece of sodium metal and uh, with the help of a filter paper i am soaking this sodium metal kerosene because the sodium kept in a kerosene because it's very reactive and uh, we need to clean it sometime paraffin oil is there in which sodium is kept so we need to make it dry and uh, then after i will take a very small piece of sodium we can cut out sodium with the help of knife and uh, with the help of knife you should cut the same size as the size of rice okay so you can take this one piece having the size of rice in a fusion tube and uh, just like that you can take another fusion tube two fusion tubes you can take and this small piece of sodium you have to add in the both fusion tubes one by one okay so let me add this now after taking this sodium in a fusion tube we need to heat this fusion tube until it becomes red hot color actually what we are going to do is uh, this sodium piece we have in this fusion tube we will heat it properly okay until it's become very red hot sodium at that time we will add our given compound given organic compound in this uh, fusion tube A very small particle we required if it is solid if it is liquid then we have to add one or two drop of the given organic compound in which we need to identify or we need to find out which element is present from nitrogen sulfur or any halogen okay so this fusion tube we have to heat it in a burner okay and by this time we have to take uh, around 15 to 20 ml we can say uh, we can take 15 ml distilled water in this china bowl okay so let's take uh, water in a china bowl So I have started the burner and uh, this is the fusion tube in which sodium is there and as you know that now already I told you that we have to heat this fusion tube until it becomes red hot and at that time only we will add our organic compound okay which is given us to find out the extra element this is my organic compound in this compound I need to find out which extra element is there chlorine bromine iodine like halogens or uh, if any nitrogen is there or if any sulfur uh, sulfur is there so we need to add few drops because this is a liquid compound and if it is solid then you need any one crystal of it and uh, remember you need to add it at the time when the sodium fusion tube is heated and its color is red hot so let's start hitting it so now i am going to heat it and uh, here in the burner we have to heat it and at that time we have to be ready with our compound also because as you can see here the sodium has uh, become red now i need to add the drops of compound at this moment only and then after we will heat it again so see here this is enough red sodium fusion tube and uh, 
in this fusion tube sodium is becomes very red hot now i am adding one two drops are enough okay so now my compound has reacted with the sodium red hot sodium and now again i have to heat it properly so again i will heat it sometimes this happen because if the compound is flammable then uh, it can be burn okay but don't worry about it you just heat it and then after keep ready your bowl with a distilled water at one side so as soon as we are heating and immediately we will add this fusion tube in that distilled water okay and then after we have to boil it heat it but we will take two sodium fusion tube so now this sodium fusion tube is uh, heated properly in which i have added two drops of my organic compound also okay so after heating properly now i am going to add this uh, fusion tube into the distilled water but take care because uh, if unreacted sodium is there then it can be splash out the water okay so with uh, precautions you need to cover this bowl with any other things okay here i have added and this sodium fusion tube can be broken due to the hot condition okay and if it is not you can break it but sodium should not be unreacted and here it is not unreacted so i am going to take another sodium fusion tube i will heat it again again i will repeat the same procedure and then after i will add in that water only here i am taking uh, again the organic compound see sometimes what happens the fusion tubes are not uh, having good quality so it can burn but don't worry about it you just add your compound it's two drops or you can add one particle if it is solid then heat it again and uh, then after we'll add in that distilled water china bowl so here to cover the china bowl i am taking the help of this wire gauze you can take anything the material which uh, should cover that fire if sodium is unreacted they can it can take uh, it can catch the fire so you need anything that can cover properly and uh, you will be not injured okay so here now sodium is heated properly and uh, see how i am adding this fusion tube with covering of this wire gauze okay now i have <coughs> added uh, two fusion tubes in the water and that water i need to heat it okay and until it start boiling and then after we will filter it and it will called as a lecithin extract so, okay by using the lecithin extract we need to find out which element is there and for that we will use this uh, ferrous sulfate and uh, freshly prepared ferrous sulfate with lecithin extract if it is given a persian blue color or green ppts then it will be confirmed that uh, compound containing nitrogen okay so here i am going to prepare fresh solution of fiso4 while the china bowl is heating up okay so this much amount of uh, ferrous sulfate you can take and add distilled water make concentrated solution okay and keep it aside so you can use this time while the lecithin extract is being heated during that time you can prepare this fresh fiso4 solution so this is fresh fiso4 solution and as you can see the crystals are there it's a saturated fiso4 solution and i will use it to check out the taste of 
nitrogen now on other hand we have to filter this uh, lysine solution so we have to keep ready that uh, filtration setup for that i have this filter paper and i have made a cone with it and i am keeping the filter paper cone in the funnel and this funnel i will keep in a test tube so that filtrate i will get in this test tube okay so this is a washed test tube with uh, distilled water and i am keeping this set in test tube stand so i will immediately filter this lysine extract so this lysine extract is now about to boil so i have to take it out and uh, now i am going to filter it okay and uh, after filtering filtrate i have to take and uh, i will make it cool and then i will use so this is filtration setup this is uh, feso4 solution freshly prepared feso4 and this is fecl3 solution and one FECL3 more solution and, uh, I have this is uh, is hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid. acid so let's filter the lysine extract it is already about to boil okay so i am going to hold this uh, china ball with the help of tongue and uh, slowly filter it see to it that your uh, filtrate should not mixed with this pieces of uh, fusion tube okay so now you can see here the clear sodium extract or lysine extract is ready it is quite hot so you have to give a time to make it cool and then after we will perform the test of nitrogen so let it filter see one more thing i want to tell you that uh, in examination you will be given unknown compound so you have to perform all the tests nitrogens halogens sulfurs but here i know that this organic compound contains nitrogen so i will show you only test of nitrogen okay so here the uh, solution is filtered and uh, now we are going to perform the test of nitrogen so it's hot and uh, let it be cool then after we'll start the test So now our lysine extract is cooled and uh, I have the different test tubes here. This is the lysine extract, this is freshly prepared FSO4 and this one is FeCl3 solution and another blank test tube I have. This is hydrochloric acid. So now let's first of all we have to take 2 to 3 ml of lysine extract in a clean test tube. So this is lysine extract. I am going to take this about 2 to 3 ml with the help of dropper in this test tube. So let it take once again. So now it is approximately 2 to 3 ml lysine extract in which our nitrogen will be there. Okay. We are going to perform the test of nitrogen. Now in this lysine extract we have to add freshly prepared FeSO4 solution with the help of another dropper so as soon as we will add FeSO4 the color of the solution will become green or it will give you the green precipitates okay so after this green precipitates coming you can see here the color of this solution or the mixture the precipitates are formed it's green in color and now when the precipitates are formed we have to uh, warm it and then after add FeCl3 warm and then add FeCl3 and then make it acidify with the help of hydrochloric acid so now we are going to heat this uh, green precipitated solution we just need to warm it not boil and 
then we will add 2 to 3 drops of FeCl3 solution ok so now it's enough warmed and uh, now I am going to add FeCl3 solution in this green precipitate so let me keep it here and with the help of another dropper I will add this FeCl3 ferric chloride solution only few drops you have to add just two to three drops okay and then after with the help of acid here we have hydrochloric acid so we'll add hydrochloric acid and make this solution acidic so few drops of hydrochloric acid you can add now this solution is acidified and as you can see that here the Persian blue color has came this is the Persian blue color and this is a very good color I like this color if this color is coming it means that in your given organic compound the nitrogen is present as an extra element generally in organic compound carbon hydrogens are there but we had performed this test to find out the extra element present in organic compound and this is a test of nitrogen observation should be persian blue color while you are 